Good morning, everybody. God bless you all in Jesus' name. It is Monday, the 17th of January, 2022, and it's 9.30 a.m. Australian time. The Lord's been pressing on me for days to share this, and I'm being obedient, and I will share this with you. I had a dream. I think it was around the 8th or 9th of January. I made a video, and I'll leave a link to that video in the pinned comment and the description box so you can go listen. Anyway... I was in like a department store area and it was I was in the front checkout area where you got those people that check your bags and that. And I'm standing there and there was a bunch of women there and just without warning, the five zap zap thing was switched on. I didn't hear it. I didn't feel it. It didn't take any effect on me at all. But everyone that was standing around there, they all just just collapsed to the floor. They all dropped like flies. And I'm standing there and there was, I think there was one person, one woman that wasn't affected by it. Obviously she didn't take the mark. She told me, she, she said, get down, get down on the floor so they don't notice you. And I was thinking, maybe I should get down so, you know, they don't notice that I'm not marked because then they'll like come for me. So I lay down on the floor and I heard a voice in my head say like, no, no, you stand up. Anyway, uh, cut a long story short, the scene changed and people started looting everywhere. And I ended up in a section where they had like all these glass cabinets with expensive, and I mean very expensive gold jewelry. There was this one ring that I looked at and it looked like an engagement ring. It was gold. And it was had like an opaque coloured ruby. It was very beautiful. It was like an oval shape on it. While everyone's looting, I put my hand in there and I took this ring out and I put it on my wedding ring finger. And I was looking at it and admiring it and I heard the Holy Spirit inside me tell me, take it off, put it back. You're not a thief. You're not like them. So I took it off being convicted and I put it back in the cabinet and I shut the door now I've been thinking every day about this that was a engagement ring an engagement ring and we are the bride of Christ and our bridegroom Jesus Christ is coming very very soon and we are going to the wedding feast we are going to the wedding feast. That was an engagement ring. And I took it like a thief. And I put it on my finger. The Holy Spirit said to me, take it off and put it back. You're not like them. Now, sorry, I've got to wear these. In the book of John... Chapter 10, starting from verse 1, Jesus himself said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up another way, sorry, some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. So many people think they're going to heaven. They think they're going to enter his kingdom. They think they're going to get into the wedding feast some other way without being washed clean by the blood of Jesus, without repenting, without being born again, without keeping his commandments, without doing the will of the Father. They think they're going to enter heaven and enter the wedding feast by man-made religion, um, a fake Jesus, a God they've made up in their own head, churchianity, and the rest of it. They think they're going to get in another way. Jesus said those that try to enter are like thieves and robbers. That was an engagement ring. I put it on my wedding ring finger while people were stealing and I was stealing it because I took it out. I mean, I wouldn't do it in real life, but that was happening in my dream. And the Holy Spirit told me, take it off, put it back. 
you're not a thief. You're not like them. I'm not like them. Anyway, sorry. Um, I wanted to share that with you. Jesus warns that he will lock many out of the wedding feast. People on that day will be knocking and banging on the door saying, Lord, Lord, let us in, let us in. I did this and that for you in your name. And he'll say, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. There's a parable in the Bible where Jesus sends out his servants and said, you know, in, invite people to my feast. And people were saying, oh, no, I just got married. I've got to do this. I just bought a piece of land. They're making excuses not to come to the king's feast. And then that king, which is Jesus, said, go out into the highways and the byways. I just go out to everybody, the poor, everybody, and invite them to my wedding feast. Jesus is inviting you to the wedding feast. Don't be a thief or a robber. You cannot, and I repeat, it's not my words, it's in the Holy Bible. You cannot enter in another way. Jesus is the door, the narrow gate. He's the shepherd. He says, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. But they won't hear anyone else's voice. They'll run from that voice. Listen to Jesus. Please, I urge you in his mighty, holy, glorious name. If you do not know him or you think you, you know him but you're not sure, I beg you, get on your knees and talk to him. Talk to him. Ask him to come into your life. Ask him to reveal himself to you. Get to know him. If you don't hear anything immediately, you just keep praying in his timing. He will reveal himself to you. And you know what? The time is very, very short. Look around you. We are in tribulation. Make no mistake. We are in tribulation right now. And it's going to increase and increase and increase. That's why we have to get right with Jesus and ask the Holy Spirit to guide us. Okay, we need to endure to the end. A lot of people will cave in from starvation or seeing their children get sick or starve or they want to be like Lot's wife and look back at the world, at the world that's passing away. They're going to try and hold on to it. Don't hold on to the things of this world. Please don't. Keep his name sealed in your forehead, your crown fixed on your head, and your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That is my ultimate desire, for my name to be written in his Lamb's Book of Life and never be blotted out. This world is garbage. Look at it. Why would you even want to be here? The way things are now and how worse it's going to get. Make sure your name is written in that book. But when you check out, or if you're still here, and when he comes back, you're found worthy, and that I'm found worthy to enter his kingdom, to come to that wedding feast. Wow. Imagine that. In God's kingdom, at his wedding feast, we're all going to be there. Wow. I'm hungry for that. Are you? <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you all for your prayers, your love, your encouragement, your support. Showing love to my little dog, Lola. She's on the couch here in front of the fan. It's really hot and humid today. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Please check out the dream. It's not that long. I saw them change into rotting zombies. Their limbs were black and green. You know that army camouflage paint, the black and green? It was exactly like that. Exactly like that. I'll leave that dream in the pinned comment and description box. I love you all in Jesus' name. You know what? I'm feeling a lot better. I'm still tired and dehydrated, but nowhere near as bad as I was before from not taking insulin. And I thank each and every one of you for keeping us in your prayers. All your prayers have reached heaven and Jesus is working on me. Thank you and thank you, Jesus. I love you all. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.